We are almost done with the 2018 NFL Mock Draft 1.0, also known as the Draft Board Series. We've got two teams left. We've got the Kansas City Chiefs and the Houston Texans. Just two more teams to go. It's exciting this is ending, but it's kind of sad at the same time because I was having fun with this. I don't know about you guys, but I was having fun with this. It's kind of great to dissect these things one by one. I think it was a great thing to cover before the combine started for free agency started. Just kind of leading up into that NFL draft process. Now the Chiefs have the 54th pick in the 2018 NFL draft. And as you and if you and, and as you remember, the Chiefs do not have a first round pick this year because they traded up with the Bills last year to draft Pat Mahomes, their quarterback of the future. And the Chiefs season was off to a hot start. They started off 5-0, including a win on opening night against the Patriots by double digits in Gillette Stadium. But after that, their season just kind of went downhill a little bit. Then it went back up, got a little momentum going. Then it went a little bit down toward the end, but then they got a little bit, a little bit back up. But their season ended in the wild card round against the Titans, despite leading 21-3 at the half. They, blowed, they blew the game away. The coaches... Andy Reid made play calls that didn't involve Kareem Hunt. Only giving him five touches after the first quarter was mind-boggling to me. Because the Chiefs were a roller coaster type of season, starting off 5-0. and Alex Smith was a leading candidate for MVP. And then after the 5-0 and start, just things went downhill for the Chiefs. They were to pick it back up for a couple of games. But then it just ultimately fell apart. So things to adjust for the Chiefs. Now, they... Saved money in cap space by trading away Alex Smith. They also got cornerback Kendall Fuller as part of the trade, but I think they might want to think about drafting another one. Maybe not with the 54th pick, but maybe at some other point. Maybe they could be one of the targets for Malcolm Butler. Who knows? Just imagine a secondary with Eric Berry, Marcus Peters, and Malcolm Butler. That'd be pretty exciting. And a defensive a defensive lineman. Because the Chiefs have made several cuts on defense. They're expected to cut Tamba Ali. They've already cut Derek Johnson. So the Chiefs need to take a defensive lineman. Or they maybe try to sign one in free agency. Defensive lines will be a huge part of the deal for Kansas City. That's what they really need. Considering that their defense, a lot of their defensive players are kind of up there in age a little bit. So they need to find some young talent, find some young youth. And their third biggest need is a wide receiver. They need to find a wide receiver to complement Tyreek Hill. They need a great complement for him. And these wide receivers, we've talked about the wide receivers quite a little bit in these last couple of mock drafts. Even including the second round ones. Anthony Miller out of Memphis, DJ Moore out of Maryland, Trey Quan Smith out of UCF. I think one of those three could be targeted by the Chiefs with this pick. That could be possible. But if I had to lean towards what I think it might be, I think it could be a defensive lineman. It's certain they already took care of the corner with the Kendall Fuller by being him being a part of the Alex Smith trade. Or they could maybe be with a team that can sign Malcolm Butler. That's another video for another day. Or defensive lineman. It's certain their defensive line needs some young youth and some young talent. Or a wide receiver to compliment Tyreek Hill. But I think the pick might be defensive line. Or it could be a corner. Or even a wide receiver. It could easily be either one of those three things. But if I had to put my name on it at this point, I would say it could be a defensive lineman. Considering their defense is the one that needs the most help right now. Because Pat Mahomes has got a great arm. But they could maybe try to sign a wide receiver for agency. Maybe they might try to sign Jarvis Landry or even Allen Robinson in for agency. But that is another video for another day. So that's kind of the ideal thing for the Chiefs. Defensive line is the pick, but it could also be a corner or a wide receiver as well. It's coming out of one of those three positions. The question is which one.